And welcome everybody here in Twitch chat and everybody on YouTube for some Shipwreck Soloist. That's what we're going to be calling our next deck. This is a deck that I'm pretty excited to try out. Basically what we have here is we're going to be playing the new Ionia KDA spell, Go Get It. Going to be our first time playing this spell. We're going to be playing it here with Bilgewater with a lot of really fun things to use it on. So basically uh, recall an ally and then you summon an exact ephemeral copy in its place. And the one that you recall, you get to reduce its cost to zero, so you can replay it. So basically what we have is we're going to have that kind of paired up with Smooth Soloist, where whenever we cast Smooth Soloist, if we have Plunder, we get to reduce the cost of allies and your hand, uh, in your, sorry, in your hand and your deck by two. And so if we can do that, reduce everything by two, and then go get it, we put it back into our hand, replay it, reduce everything by two again. Now the ephemeral copy that you get that won't have the um, ability because it, you know, plunder is a play, so that won't have that. But you know, that that can reduce the cost of our things by quite a bit because our curve is pretty high. Now we also could do that with Riptide Rex, so we could have double Riptide Rex, right? Like if we have thirteen mana, which is how much mana you can have in this game, and we turn on plunder, then we cast Riptide Rex, we go get it, put it back into our hand, play it again for zero mana. Um, you know, get double Riptide Rex of like, you know, the 14 cannon barrages in one turn. That could be pretty insane. Also doing a Shipwreck Hoarder. Now Shipwreck Hoarder is a summon ability. And so that means that, you know, like whenever we play Shipwreck Hoarder, we get to toss two, put two treasures in. But then like the go get it, the ephemeral copy, will be able to put two more um, treasures in your deck. And then you recast Shipwreck Hoarder. And so you get two more <laughs> treasures again. So, you know, like that combination, you could get uh, six treasures into your deck so that should be pretty sweet but then also you know go get it with these other summon things like yordle grifter is a summon um zap spray fin is summon and so sh those should be awesome with go get it so that's what we have going on as far as like um making sure we don't die too early we have box to push to challenge we have jaw hunters to challenge plus jaw hunters creates that random sea monster in hand which usually you know like the sea monsters are pretty expensive but then again smooth solos will help reduce the cost of those sea monsters that we create in hand and plus we're going to then uh, have a whole bunch of plunder things so you know like black market merchant pilfer goods yordle grifter whenever we're plundering all these things or nabbing i guess sorry whenever we're nabbing all these cards usually like those cards are again pretty expensive and like your hand just gets um filled with too much expensive stuff throughout like you know creating throughout all this card advantage you know creating sea monsters nabbing a bunch of cards yeah, you know, that's all going to cost too much, and that's why Smooth Soloist is going to be so important. So we can get tons of card advantage, but then also reduce the cost of all of that stuff so we are able to play it. So that's what we're going to try to do. Let's let's try it out. We're going to play it on over in Ranked. We'll go play our uh, five games over there. It'll be our first time playing this game. Uh, sorry, playing this deck. It'll be our first time trying this deck out. So we'll really see how it does. We don't have like the best interaction for our opponents, but the nab cards, like against all these, like tons of Shadow Isles control decks these days. So the nab cards, we can hopefully find like their vengeance and things like that. Um, I think I'm just gonna keep this. I like it. Have the warning shot to turn on Smooth Soloist. You know, I've got Twisted Fate out here. Jaw Hunters can do its thing. So I could warning shot Jagged Butcher. Yeah, sure. We'll do that. With us having the attack token here right away, getting a 3 3 in play. We'll do it. That egg. Did it move? Feel bad for using my warning shot now. Yeah, I kind of feel bad for using my warning shot. Because they definitely block. So they don't get to nab. Fresh is worth at least twice as much. No surprise there. But still our three mana card traded with our two mana card and gave us an abyssal eye. Because I can use red card and just clear the way for Jagged Butcher. Alternatively, I could spray fin. No, let's get Twisted Fate in play. I'm always up for a round or two. It's good to have this in play as early as possible before we start drawing cards. Something 
for all. Tusk Raider? Yeah, Tusk Raider is... Yeah, so Tusk Raider is a plunder effect. But again, if you have the plunder turned on, it's like your ephemeral copy won't work. But, you know, you do put it back into your hand and then you get to recast it for zero mana. So that one would work with Tusk Raider. So yeah, same kind of thing. You could use Tusk Raider in this kind of deck. Time to get rich. Definitely considering just playing the Abyssal Eye this turn. And maybe I should be. River Shaper. River Shape the land. I mean, I guess they're just going to be... Like, are they just trying Ruination next turn? But, I mean... Or swim within the flows of magic. Just in case they don't have Ruination. I'm going to play the River Shaper. We can see why Smooth Soloist is so important. So I was thinking that, that Zap's Brayfin would probably find a warning shot or make it rain for me. Alright, that'll turn on Plunder. Perfect. Close your eyes and drift away. Oh, I should I should have cast Pilfer Goods first. That's my bad. I just got so excited to play Smooth Soul List. I should have played the Pilfer Goods first so that if we would have nabbed units, then we would make them cost less. That's my bad. I got too excited. <laughs> yeah, we're doing Go Get It, Riptide Rex. I could have had both of those. I could have had, you know, this cost zero and one. <clears throat> That's my bad. Let's get two treasures in the deck. They're in there somewhere. I'm kind of thinking that they're going to play like the one mana. So like they're going to do like the one mana deal five. Ah, Ruination. Better for me. Should be playing Hapless Aristocrat right now. I messed messed that up with these two. Let's get to it. So they're at ten. Be in the water. They're down to three. Could have been two if I would have messed up Aristocrat. So we, have, we didn't draw Go Get It to go along with the Riptide Rex. That would have been pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, you called it, Bruce. Bruised, you said, this is the part where they deny, make it rain, and we play another one in last. You called it. Alright, they think they're going pretty hard. They're not going this hard. Now 
And that should do it. All right, what to know? Deck look good. Okay, so we'll see how we do against Field of Rush. Warning shot. Him, Jagged Butcher. This would have been better to have the attack token on turn two of, you know, like attack, then play Black Market. Merchant. It's basically do we, you know, do we want to try to challenge the 0 4? Like, it's probably be really difficult to, to get the whole 0 4 challenge thing going. Just gonna do this. Perfect. Like one of the best cards to nab. And now my Jagger but this Jagger Butcher doesn't die to Avalanche anymore. Alright, gonna go Twist of Fate blue card. Start working towards leveled up Twist of Fate. Stones. So I'm at I'm at three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Let's just take the pass. That gets me closer to Twisted Fate level up. So we're at four right now. Five. No surprise there. Can't do feel the rush yet. I don't really want to just attack because I want to play Riptide Rex this turn. Sweet. Does that mean? Yeah, it has to be two different champions. So we just get one. I don't really like the Withering Whales, but I guess the good news is my opponent doesn't have Withering Whale. Leave your bags at the door. Blood and guts, golden glory. I wish I had two champions in my deck. I'm always up for a round or two. Live to fight. Wish we had two champions in our deck. Gotta trust your instincts. See what happens here. Yuck. You don't stand a chance. No, I probably don't, do I? Yuck. I'm not greedy. 
My friends, though. Man, we're getting all these car all these withering whales and avalanches. That's not great. All right, one on one. GGs. Yeah, that's. I mean, that's. We've played one deck today that has not been. <laughs> we've we've only played against three different decks today, right? Like we've played either Feel the Rush Ramp, Karma decks, you know, with the the new Karma thing. Like those are the only two decks we played, except for one one deck we played against a an Elise um, Nocturne deck. Um, but yeah, that's kind of it's kind of what there is. Oh, I should be mulliganing Boxtopus. I kind of kept it because it's a two mana card, but I should be mulliganing it because. Like, their deck does a great job of doing one damage. Box to Puss isn't any good here. Um, but I, I love Smooth Soloist and Go Get It Smooth Soloist. I want to keep that. Um, you know, obviously we're not going to be doing anything for a while, but their deck doesn't do anything for a while either. Uh, but I, I should be mulliganing Box to Puss. Should mulligan that. Shape the land and give it life. There's always fighting eight punts, Pablo. Yeah, that's why I should have woken it. A win streak. You're in over your head. A gift from the river folk. The river shaper is just perfect against what I, you know, me keeping this really slow hand. I. I honestly didn't really consider River Shaper too much Safety. with keeping this hand. And so that was a great card for them to have. I don't know why they would... You know the value of coin. I, I honestly kind of want to take the pass. Okay. I don't want to just take the pass. But that's also fine. I like getting that River Shaper out of here. I do think Weirding Stones can go back to being a, an 03 like it was before. It's probably unnecessary. Um, where it is. At 04. Back to nine cards. They're at nine as well. Um, one we'll do five damage okay yeah I think I want to wait I don't want to deal with this river shaper drawing a bunch more spells like the, the like that other one Alright, so this is the warning shot they know about, as it says Eurogrifter created this card. So I'm going to play this one. Now we got zero mana black market merchant. So 
All right, good. That leaves perfect. That leaves me with five mana for go get it. Now we have zero mana. Yordle Grifter, and like Yordle Grifter, go get it is pretty nice. That's probably where I want to be. I probably want to be bouncing the Yordle Grifter and just nabbing extra extra times. Um. Yeah, we don't need to save that. I'm not greedy. My friends, though. Ooh. Wait, I haven't had, I haven't had found Twisted Fate. Alright, so that, that summons a new Yordle Grifter. So we get to nab. Now we'll play this one. Yeah, nab again. There we go. We're going infinite. We're going infinite with the go get it. Yes, shipwreck order. Let's get some treasures. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Come on a musical journey. <laughs> Our cards cost so little. Three smooth syllabus. I think I just pass. I could play this go hard. I don't even know if I want to draw more go hards though. I don't think I really want to draw that card. So I don't really want to put two in my deck. Heart and mind as one. Yes. Riptide Rex, go get it. Bring up the bell! So we have double, double cannon barrage this turn. I don't like how that gives them more, you know, more targets for the Riptide Rex. You know, like they have a bunch of targets here. I don't really love that. I guess I should go hard and drain this to take take down a target. We'll do that. Okay. So we are killing Karma good. And our deck is sweet. They're at two? I guess I do have double warning shot in there at two. Return to us. GG's. Two and one. Didn't get to live the bounce Riptide Rex dream. Which maybe I should have just done. But I just I just, you know, killed him. Hey, something new. Lee Sin Zed. This can definitely be a problem. You know, like if they have turn four Lee Sin and then just have all the spells, that will definitely be a problem. Um, we are going to try to uh, nab their stuff. Because I'm assuming that they are playing answers. So maybe they, you know, maybe they're playing Hush. And so we can go grab their Hush. That would be nice. We'll see if they have the Eye of the Dragon. And if so, then we'll challenge it with Box to Puss. Mountain Goat. I think we still challenge. 
I know they get the gem, but we'll get that thing out of here before they can protect it forever. <laughs> yeah, well, one, one, I've never really mind playing against Lee Sin Zed. Um, but yes, I would much rather play against Lee Sin Zed than, than these KDA cards, than feel, like, feel the rushes. Ugh. I don't really mind playing against the Karma deck, except for your games just take 20 minutes. But Feel the Rush is my least favorite card. I am the blade in the darkness. Yep, pretty good. Pretty good to be the blade in the darkness. So I think Jaw Hunters will be able to take down Zed. I think. Not 100%. But I think this should work. Does it have like two Pale Cascades? Or... Will of Ionia? Alright, so let's go Twisted Fate... Gold card. And try to set up... Yeah, I think that's just my best option. Try to set up Make It Rain. It's a lot easier for them to stop Make It Rain, though. Like, they even have, like, a gem over here. So this isn't a great... Uh, this isn't a great option. So they did that in past? It's kind of surprising. Yeah, you don't want they passed. Yuck, I don't want Zenith Blade. I wanted Hush. Alright, not the worst. down to just five cards. We have a lot more cards than them. Need make it rain to be two mana again. Right, that would protect against Bastion. Oh, they just drew Bastion. Yuck. Oh, I should attack. That was a great Will of Ionia, right? Like, Will of Ionia is a card that I just don't see in this deck hardly at all. So that was a great Will of Ionia. GG's. More Karma. Well, so far we're 2-0 against Karma, so... I um, shouldn't be too mad at playing against Karma. We got the Yordle Grifter. Go get a combo again. We can use the health potion to heal the box to puss. I want to get the Twisted Fate in play. I'm not greedy. So that while we're drawing these cards. And leveling up our Twisted Fate. Bring a flipping bell! Woo, you wee scruff! Uh, 
and round. good. That would have drawn two for me to put Twist of Fate at five out of eight. And I could add Pilfer Goods, make it seven, you know, our next draw step, make it eight. Good quality deny. Um, you know, saving, you know, need to save the warning shot for this next turn for the Smooth Soloist. Oh, again, again, I should have done that, then played Pilfer Goods first, and then Smooth Soloist, because, again, that's the second time I've done that. Should have Pilfer Goods first. I'm just so, I just get so excited to play Smooth Soloist. Okay, they're both spells, see? I had it the whole time. Had it the whole time. No, afraid! This is a wee bit plain. What will you have? Start the round! Should have stayed home, pal. Bring a flipping bell! How about another round? Where are you off to? Alright, doing a little challenging. And see, next turn at 8 mana, instead of like having to worry about having 8 mana for Riptide Rex. We can play Yordle Grifter and Riptide Rex. We can do them both. I'm glad that we got Deny so for, for their Field of Rush. Winter's Breath. So they're passing to me. We know that they have, they just entreat, so they either have another Trundle or Karma in hand. I'm gonna play this. Get a blue card, put two treasures into the deck, and then also draw a card. Karma. The answer lies within. We'll bring peace to Ionia, whatever the cost. Okay, so we're gonna go this for blue card, this for red card. Yeah, I want to kill this weirding stones. Mina Swiftfoot. I wish I had one more mana and I could rip Tide Rex and have Deny available. Oh wait, I do have one more mana. Right. Ha. Huh. I get to do that. Because right, because I want to be able to deny Feel the Rush. That's important. Can they call me a shark? Pretty awesome having everything cost a lot less mana. Oh, there's there's too many. So basically, right now there's there's nine things on the stack, and you can only have you can only have nine. You can't put a tenth. Um, 
You can't put a 10th thing on the stack. They don't have room, so I don't get to deny that. So they basically because they just don't have room, right, to to continue to go on and have more things. That basically only comes up with Riptide Rex. Nothing else really. I don't know what they're gonna do with five mana to save themselves. They're gonna have like some good frostbite stuff. That's not going to do it. All right, GG's. So our deck looks great against these Karma decks. We went 3-0 against Karma. And, uh, you know, our, yeah, our decks looked like really powerful against them with all these nav cards and everything. We did lose to the ramp deck with Feel the Rush. Um, you know, Feel the Rush is just, just kind of brutal, that with Trindamir. So, you know, we lost there. Um, but then... Uh, uh, you know, besides that, I think our deck looked pretty good. It's a fun one to play. Boxtopus is all right. You know, like that's, it just kind of, it's in there to kind of annoy them and, and maybe challenge some champions and stuff like that. Uh, Fortune Croaker is another option if you want to be able to level up Twisted Fate a little easier. Um, but then, you know, you had to find your own things to deal one damage to, which obviously Black Market Merchant, Jaw Hunters, those aren't cards you want to deal one damage to. So you're looking at, like, basically just Jagged Butcher. Like, so games you don't have Jagged Butcher, Fortune Croaker wouldn't look very good. So I was I was happy overall with the Boxtopus. Um, we didn't get to find any treasures, unfortunately, but Smooth Soloist was great. It was really an all-star in this deck, being able to reduce the cost of all of our cards, because we do just have so much card advantage. You know, so many of these things are generating new cards. You know, you're... Your Black Market Merchant, Jaw Hunters, Pilfer Goods, Twisted Fate, Yordle Grifter, Sprayfin. All those things are just getting more cards for you, and then you just, you know, end up having too many cards in hand and too much mana, and you just can't unload your hand fast enough, and Smooth Soloist fixes that problem. So this was a great Smooth Soloist deck. Make It Rain didn't look that good, but we didn't really face, like, the aggro decks where you really need it, um, where they're playing... You know, like your Zonite Urchin decks or your 4-1 Fearsome decks. You know, like we didn't face any of those decks because um, everybody's playing Karma these days. Um, and so if everybody's playing Karma, I wouldn't mind playing more Pilfer Goods. Um, so that, that's something they could play is just another Pilfer Goods. All right, so there we go. That's that's Shipwreck Soloist. Those of y'all watching later on YouTube, hit that like button over there and leave those comments. Let me know what you think of the deck. And uh, yeah, I don't want to want to hear that feedback. I was pretty excited about this one. Uh, I think it was fun to play. So yeah, let me know how y'all liked it. But anyway, thank you so much for watching and I'll see you for the next video.